Hi everyone, hope you're well, hope you're great on your grind. Um, I haven't done much uh, video content for a while, as many of you know. Um, I lost my dad last month and it was uh, a really tough time um, having to step in and care for my father. And um, emotions and energy and just my general well-beings have been a bit the yo-yo like the last uh, few months. Uh, unfortunately, we lost him to cancer and um, he passed away in hospital. Uh, top bloke, good guy. So um, for the last year, this year especially, I haven't done much uh, in business. I've been focused on family. And uh, anyone watching this who is very family orientated will completely agree that uh, you can't put a price tag on the value of, uh, of your family. So uh, you have to do what's needed. Um, I uh, decided to change directions in business uh, late last year. I wasn't happy with a few things. Uh, I'm not happy with the way the uh, fitness industry is going. Um, it's very drug induced, unhealthy, and very um, contradictive to the cause. So I've decided to re embark as a transformation expert. So it just doesn't entail fitness, it also helps people with image, fashion, um, mostly helping men who have underlying insecurity issues. So I'm going to be working immensely in the future as the transformation guru. I actually had uh, a potential lawsuit uh, from O2 many years ago when I trademarked myself as the transformation guru in the UK. Um, so that was very, very stressful. Um, so I had to park that for a number of years. So as an influencer online, my name is obviously Gavin Townsend, but you may also refer to me as the transformation guru. So just to give you a heads up, as well, I've decided to turn my whole warehouse into a, what people would only describe as a vintage thrift store, um, but with a bit of a twist. Um, I, I read a lot into economics. I'm a bit of a macroeconomic geek. I talk about uh, fluctuations in markets, historical trends. Um, I listen to a lot of history and I do foresee after the last few years of carnage um, here in the UK, we're going to get some major austerity for the next 10 years. So I just saw that um, people will want to buy better quality goods and with the growth rate of the likes of Vinted, the app, uh, 3 billion turnover, um, that market is booming. So I looked around my hometown of Redditch, recognised that no one else was doing um, a proper decent Vinted vintage store with high-end fashion and really good quality uh, vintage clothing. So here I am. Now I'll give you a quick insight. Uh, it's a few days before I open. I'm opening up this Saturday. Um, so as many of you know, um, I helped uh, set up pick up in Redditch. We've got uh, collectibles, we've got prints, limited edition prints. It's great to see the UB40 boys down there uh, helping with the launch. So make sure to check them out, they're opposite Waterstones. Um, so yeah, let me give you a quick insight. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. I'm just working tirelessly at the moment, Danny. So we're gonna have a full blown shoe section. As you can see here, I've got some Timberlands, um, some cat boots there, we've got Nike, Adidas trainers. We've got new shoes, we've got pre-love shoes. Um, we've got Converse, loads of Converse. Uh, more importantly for those parents, we've got um, a mixture of brand new uh, kids clothes, both suits, um, jumpers, jackets, and obviously it's coming up to the winter period. So uh, I import uh, a few bits, but also I've got wholesalers who specialize in importing clothing. Look at that, that's from America. It is virtually, can't say it's brand new, but it's good as, uh, it's mint. And as an example here, little bits of Burberry. Um, so Adidas, Nike, Jules. I've uh, got Disney, you've got loads of different random uh, stuff here. We've got this cool um, collection of uh, kids, um, Levi's and chinos and jeans. Um, so I'm just sorting all this stuff out over here at the moment. 
I won't go into too much depth, a bit of kids' shoes there. But look at look at those. Cool. Cool eh? Um so got all sorts. Um even got a sofa there so you can try them on. Um I'm gonna do like a toy section. I've got Christmas gift ideas as well. These gonks are new. I bought these uh, at the start of the year. I had plans to launch this, if I'm honest, mid this year, but um, if anyone's ever, ever had to care for uh, a loved one, you prioritise that. And um, I'll be honest, I won't swear, but it did completely um, FCUK me. Um, yeah, it was uh, pretty tough, so I had to park what vi vision I had. But it's coming up to Christmas, and I've even got Christmas hats, so check those out. Um, and also for those, uh, those who like geeky toys, I have a whole collection of DC uh, toys. Check those bad boys out. They're all individually priced. We've also got a few of the Funko Pops. Bit of Mario there. I'm gonna do computer games. I'm starting to work out through some cute computer games. Gonna do some vinyl, gonna do some CDs, some real rare stuff, some, some, some cool stuff. And uh, I've even gone as far as bringing my whole comic book collection. How cool is that? A lot of these, you will struggle to find on the internet. Uh, a lot of these you will struggle to um, just generally find at comic book places because a lot of them are rare. Uh, I'm also going to do like a little quirky uh, Pokemon uh, swap shop. So any Pokemon fans out there, um, if you want to come down and swap your Pokemon cards, feel free. Um, yes, I'm a 37 year old bloke who's got Pokemon cards. Don't judge. Um, just tighten up this place at the moment. I'm going to have a hat section, caps, baseball caps. Just been sorting through all these jeans here. We've got everything from Ralph Lauren, G Star, Calvin Klein, Lee Cooper, Umbretta. We've got a whole Levi section over here, which I'm sort of sorting through at the moment. We've got some vintage Versace uh, jeans. Got some uh, Versace Couture there, True Religion, Lee. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, Wrangler. Um, so with it coming up to winter as well, it's really important to recognise that we need uh, more jumpers and jackets and so forth. So we've got a real cool collection of men's, both short sleeve and long sleeve shirts, uh, jumpers of all types here, jackets. We've even got some, we've even got this really cool uh, wartime uh, army jacket there so anyone who's into that if you're into that fair, fair play um so i've got vintage i've got uh branded stuff um love the likes of your barber jackets their quality it's coming up to the winter obviously it's going to be cold so we've got all sorts of um cloths wools uh, we've got a lot of new stuff in um if you go to the shop in the town center there's actually uh, a couple of rails in there that I've um, hand selected from my warehouse shop. So uh, feel free to uh, check out the Disney Star Wars, um, all the rare uh, bits I've got there. I'll put a Gremlins t-shirt there as well uh, today and a, and a brand new Harry Potter uh, t-shirt with the tags on. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of jackets, loads of different styles of jackets, loads of brands, um, got loads of, uh, new suits, brand new suits. Um, so here, if you want a brand new suit, come get a brand new suit this weekend. Three piece suit, fifty quid. Come on. Um, I'm gonna do the jeans at twenty pounds a pair. Uh, three pairs, fifty pounds. So that's any brand. And the rule is, I will not, unfortunately, be able to reserve stuff for people. Um, it's first come, first serve. So. It, I'm going to do loads of good quality stuff. So even like here, as an example, that's the diesel jacket I picked it recently. That is mint. Um, this one here, this Levi's jacket there. I just love that. I love the style of it. Um, got the likes of Lacoste. Everyone likes Lacoste, but that's a vintage Lacoste top. So as much as I appreciate people can buy brand new fancy brands, the rarity of a lot of these clothes that I've hand selected over the last year, um, you can't get them anymore. Um, so the pair of Versace jeans here is an example. They're 30 years old. Um, and uh, a lot of the clothes that I'm selecting 
um, they have to go through a process. So I have to go as far as uh, picking, checking the quality, um, checking any discoloration, any marks, any obvious marks. And, um, and I'm very, very fussy. As people knew for years, I, saw, I was in the rag trade for a long time. For 10 years I've been in clothing. So I understand the textures, the styles, the cuts, the, the cloth, the fabrics, the detail, the sizes, how to fit. And um, I reckon I can help most men and most women um, fit out a decent quality wardrobe for a few hundred quid. Um, the good thing is what with what I'm doing as well, you'll be able to part exchange your unwanted fashion, um, your pre-loved fashion. Uh, it's all by application, so it's just simply either get in touch with me or just come down the days I'm open. I'm open Mondays 12 till 8 p.m., Thursday and Fridays 12 till 5, and open Saturdays 12 till 2. And the reason why I'm doing shorter hours on Saturday is I DJ and I've got other interests as well. Um, and I'm allowed to have a life. I've woken up to the realities of that. Uh, it's great working your nuts off, but sometimes you need to uh, enjoy life a bit. So it's about finding a balance, and that's really important. That's something I'll do, put in a future video. So location, it's my red building at Windsor Road, next to Windsor Carpets, opposite Top Banana, by Smoky Joe's Cafe. Um, so that's Redditch, Windsor Road, uh, and I open up this Saturday. So I hope to see you in. Um, this Saturday, I'll do a 20% off for anyone who comes in for this Saturday. That's 20% off everything. So um, if you've watched this video to the end, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll know about the discount. So um, have a great day. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon in the, in the shop. So it's Looks Living. And make sure to follow us on Instagram, Looks Living IG. So that's L-U-X-E living ig thanks for watching